Good afternoon everybody, it's Mrs Ismail here from Halifax Academy. I hope you're all well and keeping safe with your families at home. I've chosen my favourite fairy tale of all times to share with you for a bedtime story today. Me and my little girls have loved this and I hope you're going to love it too. It's called Little Red Riding Hood. Little Red Riding Hood lived in a cottage by a wood. One day her mother said, your grandma is ill. Please take this basket of cakes and fruits to her. So Little Red Riding Hood set off with the basket wearing her red cape. Don't talk to strangers, especially not to wolves, her mother called. Bye, Mum! Little Red Riding Hood walked through the wood. The trees were tall and made scary shadows. Suddenly, a wolf jumped out. Hello, growled the wolf. Where are you going? I'm taking some cakes and fruit to my grandma, said Little Red Riding Hood. What a sweet child you are, said the wolf. Why not pick your grandma some flowers too? With that, the big bad wolf ran off, leaving Little Red Riding Hood happily picking flowers. Little did she know the wolf had raced ahead to grandma's house. When he arrived, the wolf knocked softly on the door. Let me in, Grandma, he called. I've bought you some cakes and fruit. It's me, Grandma. But Grandma wasn't silly. That's not Little Red Riding Hood's voice, she said. Quickly, she made her bed and hid in the wardrobe. Oh, clever Grandma. Grandma! The wolf burst into the cottage, but Grandma was nowhere to be seen. So he dressed himself in her nightgown and bed cap and got into bed. Grandma, it's me. Soon Little Red Riding Hood knocked on the door. Come in, dear, snarled the wolf in his nicest voice. Grandma, you look odd, said Little Red Riding Hood. Come and sit beside me, dear, growled the wolf. Little Red Riding Hood sat on the bed. What big ears you have, Grandma, she said. All the better to hear you with, dear, replied the wolf. What big eyes you have, Grandma. All the better to see you with, dear. And your teeth are just huge, exclaimed Little Red Riding Hood. All the better to eat you with, said the wolf, and he pounced. Little Red Riding Hood screamed loudly and ran away. The wolf left out her but suddenly there was a banging at the door. Bang, bang, bang. Little Red Riding Hood opened the door. There stood a woodcutter who had heard her screams. He raised his axe. With a howl of fear, the big bad wolf dashed past the woodcutter, out of the cottage and away into the forest. Then Little Red Riding Hood and the woodcutter heard a strange knocking coming from the bedroom. They opened the wardrobe door and out tumbled Grandma. This is a cause for celebration, exclaimed Grandma. So she put the kettle on and laid the table. They all sat down to tea and cakes. Yummy. Never again did Little Red Riding Hood talk to strangers. As for the wolf, he kept well away from little girls, especially those wearing red capes. The end. I really hope you enjoyed this fairy tale and it will inspire you to read many more. Look after yourselves and hope to see you soon. Goodbye.